everybody right now. We've got cloud cover and some raindrops here in the Music City. Check out the camera now from the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. And we see the rain that is out there for us here as we begin our morning out there. Here is our weather kid. Be like Guthrie. Grab the umbrella showing 60 degrees this morning and then 67 a little bit later in the day. But Guthrie, thank you for helping us out uh, today. Here's satellite and radar, and it shows already the rain moving into the Mid-South. Some of the rain is heavy, but now you get north and northwest of Nashville. Not a lot going on your way. It'll take a little longer for some of this to get to you. Here is the big setup. There are actually a couple of things going on. Number one, part of the rain this morning is actually with a stationary front. This becomes a warm front and will lift northward. That's going to help kind of juice up the atmosphere as Zeta makes landfall later today. But see this box? That's an upper level low, so they're all kind of combining to give us just messy weather uh, today, tonight, and into tomorrow out there. So let's show you what is going on right now from around the Mid-South. We'll bring you back in to our region, and here's some of the showers that are showing up this morning. And some of the rain now from uh, Shelbyville and some of that rain back over toward McMinnville. I uh, even uh, as you saw a little light rain here in Nashville, but it's heavier in Bedford County for us this morning back into the northern half of Coffee County and some of the rain extending from Lewisburg and that rain also around Smithfield. But let's go into Bedford County now. Uh, there's the rain from the Bedford community, heavier rain around Anchor Mill, down the Himesville, Haley War Trace. Uh, you've all got rain. We go a little closer into Shelbyville now, down in the Walking Horse Country, Dover Street, Rabbit Branch Road, Troop Road, Blue Rabbit Parkway, Railroad Avenue, all got some heavier rainfall rates uh, taking place for us this morning. Some of that now extending into the Wilson County area. We're also watching Zeta. It's back at tropical, it's back at hurricane status. Looks like it's going to become a cat two storm before making landfall, but the track still looks for now to be south and to the east of us. So even with this track, we still end up with a couple of inches of rain around the mid south, but it's going to quickly get uh, kicked on out. So here is exact track for us. Look at the rain around the area. Several waves of that rain is on the way. If you got time, throw out some grass seed if you need to aerate uh, and uh, do that uh, for us. Now, here we go for tomorrow. Scattered showers out there, but here comes a cold front. That front will mean temperatures will drop tomorrow afternoon. Here's one computer estimate showing one to three inches of rain, some spots two to three. Some of our southern counties could even end up with over three to four inches of rain when all of this is said and done. Here now your extended forecast today, 67, 72 tomorrow. Good weather on the way for the weekend. Here's our weather artist today, Avery Greer. Avery is a fourth grader. He's giving us rain, thunderstorms, and a rainbow. Uh, if you'd like for your school or if we'd like for your weather art to be on News Channel 5, hit us up with an email, school at newschannel5.com. Use that address, too, if you need the snail mail address.